So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to view right here and you're gonna go to macros and you're gonna go to view macros right here. And then at this point, you're gonna have nothing in here. So you're gonna have nothing in here, but what you have to do is you have to type in a name. So I typed in generate like this, right? And then um, let's just put another E so it's new. So if you type in generate, you're gonna see this create button. And if you create a macro, you're gonna press this and it's gonna bring you to this page right here. It's gonna bring you to this page with basically nothing in it like that. And you might have like a sub generate like that here, but um, uh, what you need to do is you need to copy this code that I have and I'm gonna have this in the description so don't worry you need to copy this code that I have and paste it in there so once you have your blank macro like this you just go ahead and just go ahead and delete everything and then paste my code it's gonna be in the description just go go grab it it's gonna be in the description okay and don't don't be intimidated by all this you just need to change two things and it's very very simple okay you just need to change these two lines that I made very clear for you guys with a lot of spaces, okay? So these two lines right here, that's what you need to change. And what this is, is basically where we're gonna save our file. And this is what our file name is gonna be because we don't want the file name to be the same thing every time, right? So we wanna make it dynamic. And you can see that I typed in range b18.value right here. If you go to cell b, 18 right here the name of the file you'll know that the name of the file is going to be angelico shimon right there so that's going to be the name of the file dot and then dot pd dot pdf right there that's going to be the name of the file and this right here is just the file path so uh, by the way you can change this to anything you want so if you want the file name to be the ip address we can make it like b20 so just type b20 in like that okay but i want it to be the person's name so i'm going to put b18 file path is basically just where you're gonna get the path of the file and to find that you just go to your file explorer and all you got to do is you just go to the file you want so if I go to you know my drives here uh, oops gonna go here go here you can see my autogens files right here I'm gonna delete that real quick you see my autogens file is right here and all I have to do is just properties right click and properties and then you can get the file path like right there you can also just click into it and then click this part copy address and then just paste it and this is actually a different file so it's okay I'll just keep it so if we keep this file up right there and we so okay we're, we're good there by the way all you have to do is change the cell you want the name of the value to be, um, uh, the value of the, once, what you want the name of the file to be, and the path, which is basically where you want to save all your PDFs that auto generate. So, right there. And we're all good. You just exit out. You don't have to save anything out of the macro, right? And then you go to view macros, it's sitting there, right there. Generate. So, let's go back to our file. So, we're in our autogens file. And actually, let's just go ahead and run the macro, see what it does. View macro, and then all you have to do now is run it. So once I run it, um, this this macro creates the PDF for you, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna run it there. And you can see that I didn't create, because maybe my file path is off. So I'm just gonna try one more time, oops one more time yeah and you might have to mess around with it a little bit it's okay guys you'll be okay so let's go to macros view macros edit so yeah you might have to edit your file path right here so c users henry wong onedrive documents autogen and stop file oh let's try adding that right there at the end so yeah, just mess around with the name a little bit and you'll probably get it working eventually. So let's try running it again. Where's my file? There it is. Run. And theoretically, there it is. Angelico Shimon. We auto-generated that PDF. Let's take a look at it. And there it is. Here is our PDF file that is good. And we have this extra trailing PDF thing here. So that's, gonna, that's not good. 
we're gonna have to get rid of this so let's close out of all that um, let's let's edit the page layout real quick let's set the print area and yeah you just have to mess around with your file to make it all work out for you especially if you have a different file and you know stuff like that so let's go to view let's go to page layout right there yeah you can see like it kind of bleeds over eh, let's just make this a little smaller I don't know see if it works <laughs> So let's do that, and then let's, and one, one good way is just to go to file print, and you'll see, as if there's one page to print, it should be good, so we should be good there, oh, cancel, and then let's do our macro one more time, let's do a different record this time, let's change our view to normal, let's do like record one, right, so view, view macros, and then let's run it. So this should be for Gale Vassy. So run. Uh, we have to navigate to our thing again. I'm gonna go to there. There it is, Gale Vassy. Let's click into it. There we go. Now we only have one page. Yeah. So you just have to edit your thing a little bit, guys, and it should be good. So yeah, our PDF is generating perfectly fine. Now the next step is to, the last step actually, is to make it so it does it by itself. Right. Um, if we wanted to do this, we'd have to go to macro, view macro, and then run it every single time, which is also a bore. At least we don't have to, you know, file, save as, print, and stuff anymore. But I just like it so it's just one button and it does it for all the records. That would be amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So to do this, we're going to make one more macro. And this should be relatively simple enough. Okay, so we're going to go back to our view, we're going to go to macros, view macros, let's make a new macro together here, and this is going to be generate all. So I have two macros, I have one called generate, which is generate the PDF, then I have generate all, which is going to be generate all the PDFs. So let's create that, and you can see um, our, generate, our, our generate macro is up here, if you scroll down, our generate all macro is down here, so I'm going to make some space here just make it simple so here's our generate all macro right it's all in the same sheet but uh, we're just gonna scroll down here so it's easy for you guys to see we have generate all and I'm gonna include this code in the description in my uh, channel as well let me copy it real quick in my channel as well for you guys to copy and paste but it's relatively simple so oops relatively simple so here's the generate all macro and all we're doing is we're just going to take each just just to simplify we're just going to basically loop through the number of records right here okay so to do that you have to know which cell the number of records you're in and remember this is our count a function so it knows it dynamically already so we have q and then we have five right here so it's going to be q5 so from one to q5 right here so it's going to basically loop through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, just like we want. We're going to, and then when we're in the for loop, we're going to set the number of Q6 right here, which is our dynamic record changing thing, our input, right? Q6, and we're going to set that value to I, which is right here. And you don't have to understand any of this, just to make sure, just make sure that um, the the cell that, you, that changes everything in your template is here, and the cell that tells the doc, um, the macro how many data records you have is right here. So this is Q5, this 10 number is Q5, and this one number is Q6 right there. And then you're going to do I. And actually what you're going to do is you're going to type in call, and then we're going to also type in the name of our sub right here, and it's called generate name of our macro so generate like that and that should work like that oh yeah you don't need the parentheses thanks VBA you don't need the parentheses so that this is all the code you need for this macro this is it that's it so generate all so we have this code let's X out of it and our macro is right here so theoretically when I press this run button it's going to generate the PDF for all of our people. Let's open the file location. Let's delete these real quick. So I'm going to press generate all 
and it's let's see it do its magic make sure it works and then we can you know make it one singular button so run and here we go boom bada bang we literally just generated all these pdfs instantly let's click into one let's click into one uh Ol olag chesil there it is olag chesil and we can you know print it out and everything very nice patty heinschk there it is patty heinschk oops that's not gonna work patty heinschk <laughs> so yeah you can like print it out and everything these are legitimate pdfs and best part is we didn't have to pay for anything no power apps premium or anything this is all this is all in the code okay guys you guys are developers now um but yeah that's that's all you have to do it works all good and so that one more thing to access this macro it's kind of annoying you have to go to view macro view macros so that's not good what i like to do is i like to go to insert I like to pick a shape right here, a rectangle, a nice little rectangle. I like to draw the rectangle. And I like to type in it, just double click to type in it. I like to put generate, maybe be a little bit more specific, generate all PDFs like that. I'm going to copy that, not copy, I'm going to select it and make the text bigger like that. I'm going to center everything and maybe I'm going to change the color like that make it very nice and appealing and all we have to do now is once you have your shape your little button you just right click you assign macro and you generate assign it to generate all remember generate is if you want to do one pdf this pdf only and you could do that if you want just just this page um just your the specific record number um then that's just generate you know what let's do um this is generate all so let's make this set it to generate all like that let's move that down so now once you press this you see it's clickable once you press it it's going to run that macro so um, to edit it again just right click first and then you can you know move it around and then let's let's copy let's copy this button let's paste it let's make another button this is going to be generate one record one pdf and this is going to be like this record right this current record so that's good there and let's assign macro again and this is just going to be the generate macro which is just the one pdf right okay so now we have two nice big buttons that's going to be able to let us generate stuff so let's change this to record number five six right so we want to do now nah, we did that person let's do two sean so let's delete let's go back to our file here go back to our file let's delete everything there we go. Okay, so generate one PDF. If we click this, it should just generate one PDF for Sean. There we go. So let's click it. There it is. Sean Roundtree. Cool. That is very cool, guys. And now we can just change it to five. Maybe we just want to make one for Patty. Generate PDF. Go back here. There it is. Patty Heinsk. So cool, guys. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're good there. Let's delete these again show off the generate all pdfs one so actually i'll just i'll just make it on the same thing so you guys know i'm not cheese in here there we go so once i press this generate all pdfs oops i'll zoom out once i press this generate all pdfs should all appear here boom you see that stuff changing right there that was pretty cool wasn't it yeah it was really cool Good job, guys. You have done it. You have created an auto generation PDF thing with the d data being dynamic, too. You're going to be able to add whatever data you want here. Let's just let's hmm, let's give it a kicker. Let me let me go to a random data generator. Actually, I already have some random data. Let me let me pull some random data real quick just for fun. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. So let's go to mock data. I downloaded this random data from this website so oops so I'm going to take all this data and I'm just gonna paste values like that okay so I just added oops I just added 58 records 58 that's a lot of records and I have to generate PDFs for all of them but no fear no fear at all because I already have my code. So delete that. 
let's do this. So I just paste it in there. And remember, we, we dragged it all the way down to like 3,000. So we're good there. We have 58 records. Click. How do you feel, guys, when you can generate 58 PDFs with a click of a button? Ooh, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just one click of a button. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.